Hey everybody, this is Wendy Ponomarenko. I'm the art teacher and librarian over at Temple Emanuel. And as part of the ongoing library project, I've been reading a book a night and then rec uh, um, recording it, editing it, and putting it up on online. And today's book is The Treasure by Uri Shulevitz. And uh, this is an award-winning book, by the way. It's a, a Caldecott Honor book. Hope you enjoy. This is The Treasure by Uri Shulevitz. There once was a man, and his name was Isaac. He lived in such poverty that again and again he went to bed hungry. One night he had a dream. In his dream, a voice told him to go to the capital city and look for a treasure under the bridge by the royal palace. It's only a dream, he thought, when he woke up, and so he paid no attention to it. <clears throat> the dream came back a second time, and Isaac still paid no attention to it. But when the dream came back a third time, he said, maybe it's true, and so he set out on his journey. He walked through forests, he crossed over mountains, finally he reached the capital city. But when he came to the bridge by the royal palace, he found that it was guarded day and night. He didn't dare search for the treasure, yet he returned to the bridge every morning and wandered around until dark. One day, the captain of the guards asked him, Why are you here? Isaac told him the dream, and the captain laughed. You poor fellow, he said. What a pity you wore your shoes out for a dream. Listen, if I believed a dream I once had, I would go right now to the city you came from, and I'd look for a treasure under the stove in the house of a fellow named Isaac. And he laughed again. <laughs> Isaac bowed to the captain and started on his long way home. He crossed over mountains. He walked through forests. And now and then someone gave him a ride. But most of the way, he walked. At last, he reached his own town. When he got home, he dug under his stove and there he found the treasure. In thanksgiving he built a house of prayer and in one of its corners he put an inscription. Sometimes one must travel far to discover what is near. Isaac sent the captain of the guards a priceless ruby and for the rest of his days he lived in contentment and he was never poor again. The end. Uh, this particular book is actually based on an old folk tale, a tale that was actually written by a famous rabbi, Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, who lived in the late 1700s, early 1800s. He's actually the founder of Hasidism, which is a, a kind of Jewish mysticism um, type of movement that believed that it was the job of Jews and the job of people to see the beauty in the world, to see the, the, all the beautiful things in the, in the world that God has created, and to be able to appreciate those, to take those to heart. And, uh, and, and the story is one of the ways that it kind of illustrates that concept in Hasidism of, uh, of knowing that the treasure is, was actually in front of your eyes the whole time, that you were actually, that, that wherever you are is the place that you need to be and that uh, that the treasure of your life is is right is right where you need to be. It's right where you already are. And uh, that story is is probably not the most well told story, but it has gone around. In fact, there's another version of it that was made into another award winning book called The Alchemist, which we do not have in the in the, in our Jewish library, but you can find this in almost every other library, including my home library. 
Uh, and this basically tells the same story, only starring a Portuguese shepherd. Uh, <laughs> with a lot more detail in it, of course. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's basically the same tale. Of, uh, of traveling, of dreaming of a treasure and then traveling far away and then finding out that the, tra that the treasure was actually where you started and then coming back and finding it. So, uh, so yeah, this is a famous, uh, a famous tale. And this book itself also won awards. The, the Alchemist won awards. The Treasure won awards. This one actually won the Caldecott. And uh, you can find this in our Easy Fiction section uh, in our Juvenile Stacks. Enjoy. Enjoy.